Welcome to the Software Carpentry Lecture on Databases. Today's topic is Null Values. Here's a table from a previous lecture. It tracks the work done on experiments broken down by the project and scientist. Except notice that this time we've modified the data slightly for this lecture so that some data is missing. That's what these red colored cells are. In the real world, data is not always complete. There are always holes. A database uses a special value for these holes, null. Null is not zero, it's not false or the empty string, it's simply just a different kind of value. So for these rows where the hours have a null value, does this mean that the hours for these experiments are missing? Or maybe it means that the value is not known. Or maybe it means something else. These are questions we can't answer just by looking at the data, but instead we have to understand how the data is supposed to be interpreted. We tackle that question in our lecture on data modeling. In this lecture we discuss how to work with null values in our queries. Suppose you wanted to know which experiments are missing hours data. You might try to filter the values like so. But we get no results. How come? For many database systems, null is a special value that isn't comparable to anything else using the usual equality operators, like equals, not equals, less than, greater than, and so on. Comparing null to any other value using these operators always returns false. So in this query, the condition hours equals null is always false and so no records get returned. To write a condition that returns true on rows that contain null values, you must use the is operator. Is is used to compare fields to null. It behaves like the equals operator, except that it returns true when comparing two null values. Here you can see that the entries in the experiments table with missing hours fields are returned. To find all of the rows that do not have a null value, you use the is not operator. This works in place of the not equals operator. Because null is a different type of value altogether, if your data may have null values in it, your queries must take this into account. For example, Suppose you wanted to find all of the experiments which did not take 7 hours. You might write, select all from experiments where hours does not equal 7. But notice that the results are missing the records with null values in the hours field. Those records were filtered out because, as we've said, only the is and is not operator will return true when comparing a null to another value. So if we meant for rows with null values in the hours column to be included in this query, we need to add to the WHERE clause to explicitly check for null values. We need to say where the hours does not equal 7 or the hours is null. Now when we run a query, we get back those records with the null hours values along with the other records where the hours field doesn't equal 7. Null values are also handled differently by aggregation functions. Most aggregation functions ignore null values in their calculations. So for instance, let's look at the sum function. To calculate the total number of hours spent on experiments, we'd start with a query like this. Get all of the hours from the experiment table. And then we'd add the sum function to total all of the values. This total is actually just the sum of all the numeric values. The null values are skipped. And maybe that's what you expected. But this property of aggregation functions is more important for functions like average, which depend on the total number of records in the aggregation. So for instance, if we select for the average number of hours from the experiment table, the null values are skipped, and so they don't count towards the average. The null values are not treated as zero. The average function just skips over them as if they weren't in the data set at all. This is also true for max, min, and count in SQLite. In this lecture, we've seen that databases use a special value for empty or missing information, and that's null. This value has to be taken into account and handled in a unique way when we are writing queries.